Kurtzer Falter War Riv or Good Rave came here. A good Tyler Hagus Korda, Agus Riv Irin Chagish is Bilfornia OT Balya Clea. Kurfertus Anish, Lesson Sharmanus Brunta Kamena. A warm welcome to our graduands, your families and friends, to faculty and staff of TU Dublin. Our graduation ceremony will now begin. Shochogiv on Tuchteran Agania on Tolov David Fitzpatrick. Here is our president, Professor David Fitzpatrick. Welcome to TU Dublin. My name is David Fitzpatrick and I'm president of Technological University Dublin. It is my great pleasure to welcome you today to our virtual graduation ceremony and to thank you, your families and friends for taking time out to celebrate this formal recognition of your academic success. I know that today's conferring is not the graduation experience that you might have expected when you began your studies. I wish you were here with me today so that I could congratulate you in person, but this event is still every bit as important as a public and formal recognition of your achievements. So please join me now in the recital hall for the conferring ceremony, which will start with Battle Suite for Brass Quintet, performed by Grange Gorman Brass. Firstly, may I thank the Grange Gorman Brass for that wonderful performance. And now, President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their programmes in Technological University Dublin, and I ask that you confer their awards on them. Graduands, in the name of Technological University Dublin and by the statutory authority vested in the university, I confer on all those listed the awards to which you are entitled. Higher Certificate in Arts in Applied Social Studies Lorraine Smith Higher Certificate in Arts in Early Childhood Studies David Cook Bachelor of Arts in Applied Social Care Lauren MacDonald Bachelor of Arts in Applied Social Studies in Social Care Tygan Abrahams Cheyenne Olcock Gemma Barry Anne-Marie Boylan Robert Christopher Leo Boyle Aoife Patricia Brabazon Michelle Burnett Lauren Campbell Julie Carr Blanet Carroll 
Lisa Clark, Alana Curran Cunningham, Harvey Donahue, Adam Dunn, Dean Hart, Lee Heaney, Munira Hersey, Robin Holland, Aoife Howard, Carol Lisa Hussey, Shona Mary Highland, Artwell Janney, Shannon Keegan, Susan Keenan, Soracha Kelly, Jessica Larkin Joyce, Oluwakemi Mujisola Lugbozo, Neve Lynch, Yasmin Makengo, Sinead McNamara, Sean Mitten, Diana Wangui Muchemi, Karen Mulligan, Kira O'Brien, Fatima Olan Rewaju, Veronica Ozog, Natasha Rafferty, Kirti Rampal, Robert Redmond, Hannah Rose, Kirsten Smith, Onayemi Sosu, Emma Stobie, Yasria Ume Ruman Tagan, Yosa Tainan, Amy Walker, Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Care and Education, Dolores Teresa Ade Onojobi, Sharon Aspil, Danielle Baker, Amy Barton, Rebecca Brown, Sinead Angela Carr, Victoria Colick, Neve Mary Colley, Lorraine Francis Conahan, Kaylin Coogan, Georgita Cronin, Nicole Tracy Curtis, Catherine Ann Deverell, Saoirse Flynn, Rhiannon Henry, Laura Hewitt, Fifi Kiasemua Binda, Naomi Kate Luttrell, Sarah Mann, Kiva McCluskey, Siobhan McDonnell, Rona Nimorachu, Therese Maria Noonan, Chelsea O'Gorman, Anya Kira O'Neill, Leanne O'Neill, Ololade Oke Eko, Portia Opoku, Victoria Iyabo Oyakirome, Erika Aurika Pop Buya, Abigail Pugh, Shannon Veronica Radford, Rebecca Rogan, Suzanne Geraldine Smith, Lily Snow, Gemma Talbot, Alessia Vyadzernik, Bachelor of Arts in Social Care Practice, Fiona Cullen, Linda Curley, Samuel Duke, Rachel Hughes, Naomi Kelly, Julie Langan, Gary Lynott, Hawelihe Matwasa, Kelly Melia, Doreen O'Neill, Jennifer O'Reilly, Clara Owa Karlikova, Kemi Shita, Chisomo Uba, Bachelor of Arts Honours in Applied Social Care, Amnit Ajayi, 
Sarah Ash, Ryan Bolger, Hannah Buckley, Ashling Byrne, Christina Byrne, Alana Carthy, Caitlin Clark, Robbie Collins, Dominica Chuenar, Victoria Daly, Lara Delaney Tully, Rebecca Donnelly, Rebecca Doyle, Saoirse Dunleavy, Deborah Elegonye, Glens Fagan, Megan Farrington, Joanne Gannon, Annabelle Giochen, Mark Gray, Megan Grimes, Daniel Grogan, Olivia Hickey, Belinda Hill, Anna Honan, Ellen Jackson, Sarah Jordan Marshall, Eva Joyce, Katarina Katsoruk, Tara Kavanagh Singleton, Alexandra Keane, Abby Kearns, Sheena Keating, Kim Kelly, Shona Kelly, Tara Kelly, Eleanor Kenna, Nadu Barbara Lawson, Orla Ludlow, Evelyn Macumbi, Kerry Manning, Neve McRae, Hannah McDonough, Anna McGuinness, Aoife McNamara, Zoe Melvin, Abby Morris, Ruth Gandaonye, Cleona O'Brien, Deborah O'Brien, Cloda O'Connor, Saoirse O'Connor, Helena O'Keefe, Hannah O'Neill, Kelly O'Neill Cooling, Aoife O'Rourke, Erin O'Toole, Shola Adunbaku, Latoya Ogunu, Francis Padden, Carla Plowman, Neve Plunkett, Nicole Power, Danielle Preston, Sarah Proudfoot, Bronwyn Pugh, Lucy Ray, Holly Redmond, Kira Roberts, Grace Sheehan, Carolyn Sisk, Estelle Smith, Colin Steins, Jasmine Thompson, Nadine Thompson, Silam Tuke, Isabel Williams, Carly Wilson, Chloe Yates, Bachelor of Arts Honours in Applied Social Studies in Social Care, Fayisat Omobolandle Afolabi, Margaret Bayon, Claire Brennan, Connor Brennan, Anya Byrne, Donna Campbell, Maeve Connell, Hannah Dowling, Rebecca Dunn, Sarah Louise Dunn, Yasmin Kyra Bell Dunn, 
Katie Amy Gannon Luke Griffin Jackie Hennessy Ava Horan Leanne Highland Sophie Keenan Adeline May Kelly Sarah Kenny Shane McDonough Ellen McLaughlin Aletta Moyaki Karen Mary Nolan Angel Nosakari Pierce O'Brien Hannah O'Carroll Lee O'Connor Kim Plunkett Lauren Power Richard Ronan Cal Smith Kira Symes Abby Tate Bachelor of Arts Honours in Early Childhood Care and Education Fausta Balaikaiti Lorna Ann Brown Megan Bulger Abby Janelle Buluran Charlene Campbell Neve Olivia Cassidy Katie Louise Clark Amy Deirdre Corbally Maeve Gronya Costello Alana Curtis Alex Linda Doyle Shauna Emerson Gronya Fitzsimmons Amy Nicole Flynn Hayes Heidi Gaff Catherine Helen Geraghty Gronya Gordon Ashling Graham Karen Grogan Ashling Grauden Renata Grunziova Lauren Hope Heffernan Rihanna Jackson Elaine Kilduff Dervla Lennon Neve Long Sarah Maguire Cleona Jane Mann Rima Majid Stephanie McCall Rebecca McConnell Jade McAvoy Caitlin McGoldrick Lauren McKenna Francesca McMahon Brona Monaghan Emilia Muzininkaite Emma Mullins Kira Murray Emma O'Higgins Tara O'Rourke Shannon Louise Raftery Sally Ann Robinson Amy Russell Sarah Spratt Karen Stanley Hayley Walsh Amanda Winston Dunn Chao Zhang Bachelor of Arts Honours in Early Childhood Education Jessica Barnwell Eve Burney Amy Byrne Ellen Byrne Nicole Byrne Maeve Coleman Claire Curley Margaret Rose Doran Alana Douglas Emma Dunn Amy Fitzgerald Kayleigh Fitzpatrick Nicola Fitzsimmons Rebecca Foley Kiva Gaffney Orla Kavanagh Robert Lambert Priscilla Lubaki Masamba 
Laura Lynch Jane McConkey Cloda McCormack Jessica McLaughlin Hannah Morrissey Jessica Murray Neve Nally Quiva Urali Laura Novak Kira Quinn Rasika Ravji Shannon Riley Lucinda Roberts Megan Shore Lee Walsh Audrey Ward Bachelor of Arts Honours in Leadership and Management in Social Care David Biggins Amy Bond Gareth Crean Mary Teresa Cummins Titilayo Elizabeth Badebo Anne Elizabeth Griffin Debbie Michelle Kenny Sinead Maria McDonough Antoinette McNamara Caroline Ann Morrissey Deirdre Mona Murphy Katie Ryan Bachelor of Arts Honours in Social Care Levi Boardman Danielle Bossonet Bevan Boyce Neve Caldwell Neve Carroll Vivian Codille Brida Curran Adele Dalton Kira Doheny Conan Dunan Aoife Fanning Sinney Daniel Kennedy Aaron Kerwin Katie Naud Tina Kumpulainen Eva Lee Maurice Leonard Kira Luby Sinead Macaulay Louise Menton Jennifer Murphy Abby Neary Neve Nicoan Quiva O'Connor Megan O'Connor Chloe O'Gorman Oshevire Ovuorho Violeta Radomska Carla Riley Lauren Smith Jessica Stafford Kieran Union Kerry Walsh Megan Walsh Kelvin Wong Bachelor of Arts Honours in Social Care and Social Studies Aoife Buckley Emer Davis Jamie Marr Kira Jane O'Neill Dylan Patrick O'Reilly Karen Smullen Bachelor of Arts Honours in Social Care Practice Emmanuel Adelaide Keith Battersby Sarah Byrne Justina Chieke Darren Clark Ashlyn Cleary Linda Comiskey Kemi Emegai Kagimu Adenike Gbesan Kelly Maria Higgins Christopher Kane Jan Kijinski Lindaway Koyana Fiona Logue Julia Mabasso Katie O'Brien Asumpta Okonko Linda Osayi 
Emma Jane Raythorn Michelle Ridgway Emma Ryan Rosie Thomas Ododo Laura Tobin Valeria Vieira de Souza Slattery Sarah Walsh Caroline Wangai Postgraduate Diploma in Social Care, Leadership and Management Karen Kelly Doctor of Philosophy Dr Anne Fitzpatrick Dr Colette Murray Graduates, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us from wherever you are for what is, due to circumstances, a virtual ceremony for the conferring of awards, but which is nonetheless one of the most important occasions in the university calendar. I'm delighted to congratulate each and every one of you, our newest graduates, who have been conferred today. Whether you came to TU Dublin as a full-time undergraduate or return to gain a further qualification to boost your career or to change direction, you have achieved your goal, and all in the most exceptional circumstances. Although today is all about you, I'm sure you recognise that you didn't get here entirely on your own. The academic staff in TU Dublin, your friends, family and supporters have all helped you along the way. So I'd like to encourage you to thank them for their support and encouragement that has contributed to your achievement in so many ways. From the experiences we've all shared, and in particular your own experiences over the past 20 months, you should take time to recognise that you are graduating not only with a qualification that is well deserved and has recognition and value in itself, but also with personal strengths that the pandemic has shown you possess, namely those of adaptability, courage, resilience and self-reliance. These capabilities are things that you have demonstrated in adversity and are attributes that you should continue to build and to draw on as you meet the new challenges that your career and future lives will present. In time, when we reflect on the COVID pandemic, I hope that we will look to take some benefits from our shared experience and to develop and grow both institutionally as a university and individually in our own activities. In reflecting, I believe that we will think of how the pandemic has shown each of us what our strongest and most supportive relationships are, what our priorities are, and how we can draw on our strengths and on those of others to meet the challenges we face. On that basis, you as TU Dublin graduates should have confidence, be strong, and know when to ask for help, drawing on others to complement your strengths and experience. While the COVID pandemic is now abating, The urgent need for sustainability and climate action remain our biggest ongoing challenge. How to deal with pollution and waste, how to reduce to net zero carbon emissions, and how to be efficient in our use of our resources present compelling need for us all to take action and an opportunity to develop innovative solutions. Here in TU Dublin, colleagues and students are working on what we can do as a university. Projects include more sustainable design and construction in our housing and built environment, energy efficiencies that can contribute to reducing carbon emissions, transport proposals that are human scale, food technology development for indigenous producers, and many more. Last month, in his address to the UN Security Council, Antishok Michal Martin said that climate change is the defining challenge of our generation. While this is certainly true, It is also true to say that the generation that will lead and drive the most significant positive change is yours and those that immediately follow. The actions or inactions of current and previous generations have undoubtedly led us to where we are now. And while we must now urgently work to reduce and minimise the consequences, the full solution lies within your gift to the planet and our future. No pressure then. 50 years ago, The Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded in 1971 to Dennis Gabor for his work in holography. In his 1963 book, Inventing the Future, he said that, we are still the masters of our fate. 
The future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. It was our ability to invent which has made human society what it is. As TU Dublin graduates, you are ideally placed to bring your academic and personal strengths and passions to bear on the development of solutions to the global challenges that face us all and to other issues of vital interest to society, our economy and our future. TU Dublin aims to play a pivotal role in meeting global challenges, but the biggest impact we will have will be through your future actions and those of our worldwide network of TU Dublin graduates. So while celebrating your own successes today, think about the impact you can have in the future. You have the strength to change the balance and to address fundamental problems. On the back of all that you have achieved to date, I look forward to seeing the impact you will have and encourage you to be visible role models in ways both big and small on our people, planet and partnerships. Through TU Dublin, you have also joined what is now an extensive worldwide community of graduates. Wherever your career and your life's journey takes you, you are likely to connect with fellow graduates who may have helped to smooth the path before you. Do stay in touch with us, not only through the Graduate Network, but also with the networks that you've established with your fellow students and the academic staff you have studied with. In closing, let me leave you with a quote from Amelia Earhart, the first woman and only the second person to fly solo across the Atlantic a counsellor in careers for women at Purdue University and an instrumental supporter of the Equal Rights Amendment to the US Constitution. She said, The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. You can do anything you decide to do. You can act to change and control your life. Until we meet in person next March, when we will further celebrate your achievements, congratulations once again and enjoy your own celebrations today. Thank you. Congratulations to all graduates on this auspicious day. As graduates, you are receiving an award today for your success over these last years in acquiring new knowledge and skills in your chosen field of expertise, for completing research that will add to our understanding of the world, for developing new thinking that will push the boundaries of human existence, for creating works of art that reach humanity in ways far beyond words, and for demonstrating a level of excellence within your discipline that will enable you in your careers to impact our world for the better, your whole life long. This is a wonderful academic milestone for you all as students. And it is also a wonderful milestone for us at TU Dublin, as we celebrate your achievements today. We have watched you grow over the time we have worked with you, and we have lived through the highs and lows alongside you, as you have pushed yourselves to excel and realized what you can achieve. We will follow your future successes with great joy and pride over the years to come, knowing that you now have infinite possibilities ahead of you. Please stay in touch with us and keep us up to date about where you go from here. But for today, all that remains to say is many congratulations to you all, enjoy your celebrations today, and our very best wishes to you for the future. Hi, my name is Leslie Barrett and I'm the Deputy President for the Students' Union and I'm here to wish the class of 2021 well done on your graduation. I know this may not be the graduation that you had envisaged during your studies, but I would encourage you not to focus on the ending, but remember the happy times during your studies. Think of all the fun and laughter and lectures and corridors and the strangers you met when you were starting out who have now become friends for life. These are the things we should remember. It's also worth remembering that your graduation is a massive and monumental achievement. Well done and well done to everybody for making it this far and graduating today. I wish you all the best of luck. Koharjus Gakdina Agus Admor. Hello everyone, my name is Mark O'Donnell and I'm the president of TU Dublin Students Union. On behalf of the Students Union and the student population, we want to congratulate you on your graduation. 
We know the last year and a half have been very difficult and it's a great success and achievement for you to manage to finish your degree and finish your time in TU Dublin. We want to wish you the very best with your future careers and we hope that you stay in contact with the Students' Union and with the University going forward. All the best for your future and congratulations. Hi everyone, it's David Gillick here. I'm delighted to pass on my best wishes and congratulations to you all on what is your graduation day. I'm fortunate enough to experience a graduation day many, many moons ago um, when I was in TU Dublin or what was known as DIT, Angel Street back, back then. And, you know, it's a day that I often remember uh, quite well because it was that feel good factor. Um, I felt great. I was very proud. I had my parents, my grandmother. Um, and all the people that I suppose meant a lot to me and helped support me through uh, my, my college years. And I think for you guys, it's uh, it's been a really, really challenging time. Um, I know obviously trying to deal with exams, um, you know, all the workload over the last number of years, but in particular, the last 12 months, your final academic year was... Well, it was filled with potholes, hurdles, obstacles, um, things that a lot of other people in that year probably didn't have to uh, deal with. It was, of course, the whole pandemic. And I think when you look at the journey that you've all been on, I think you should really give yourself a huge pat on the back because you've had to overcome and deal with very challenging circumstances. And as much as your qualification um will give you, I think it's it's how you negotiated life over the last year is probably a huge factor and something that really should be congratulated because I think you've had to think outside the box. You've had to deal with classes delivered virtually. You've had to do a lot of work remotely. And, you know, when you're in class, it was very easy to put your hand up and get a get an answer and ask a question and have that engagement. Maybe it was talking to your lecturer after class about a difficult task that you had or a difficult, um, you know, uh, issue, whatever it was. Um, and that couldn't happen for, for the reasons um, over the last year. Um, and that probably created headaches. It probably made you feel a little bit like alone in isolation and maybe a little bit anxious and worried about what was going to happen you know at the end of the day you wanted to get to your graduation you wanted to um to get across that line and you've done that today and i think that's hugely hugely positive and you know we talk about resilience we talk about um you know what builds resilience and how do you become more resilient um can i buy it <laughs> is it a product where can i get it from why is that person more resilient than me and i think for for you all you've shown great resilience in action um and I know resilience is something that is very, very important. It's something that is a life uh, attribute and something that um, you can rely on in times of need. And it's through these experiences, it's through these challenges, these obstacles that are thrown our way, do you become more resilient. And um, I think you've all shown that in the last uh, 12 months and definitely for the rest of your life, this year is probably something to maybe think back on and remind yourself that you know you are tough you are resilient you have and can overcome you know obstacles that are thrown in your way um, and i think that's a huge huge po positive uh, life lesson to take away from this year so you know like i said huge congratulations to you but also to your lectures to your to your family members your loved ones people that have helped support you and and also understood um the tantrums the frustration the anxiety the worries all of these things that come to the fore when um, you're trying to meet deadlines and you're trying to uh, get your work done in difficult circumstances. And I think the people around you give you that support. They give you that um, advice when needed. Um, and just sometimes maybe they, there's someone to hug and cry when things don't go your way. Um, but you've all come through that and it's a huge credit to your families and your friends and all your classmates and your lecturers and indeed the college. Um, I think the next phase of your life is exciting. Uh, there will be people who might listen to this and know exactly what they want to do. There might be people that might go traveling and there might be people that are unsure. Um, give yourself a bit of time. You know, I think uh, when my career as an athlete ended from the world of sport, I, I panicked. I jumped straight into things. I took a job, realized I didn't, wasn't really sure if this job was for me. I took a new job, exact same scenario. And I think the advice... Uh, that I would give is give yourself a bit of time. You've worked so hard, really hard um, in difficult circumstances. And if you need to take a bit of time to 
to see what you want to do, that's okay. Talk to the people around you. Talk to your family. Talk to your lecturers. Talk to your classmates, people who you respect. Um, and, um, you know, they might see something in you that you don't see. And use your qualification, um, obviously, in the industry that you want to get involved in. I, I think with me, my degree gave me that strength and belief that I could follow uh, a goal, a, a dream. I could work the deadlines and gave me that confidence to work with other people as well. So, Again, the future is to be embraced. Um, it can be fearful at, time, at times, but take that step, try new things, experiment. Um, you're also young um, and you know, you've got years on your side and you know, you've, I think I always remember someone saying to me, David, you'll be a long time retired. And uh, yeah, they're right. Um, I'm out of my sport nearly eight years now and um, I'm very fortunate to have great opportunities and uh, things that came my way and uh, my my job is broad, my job is varied and it's brilliant. And I think for those of you that may be a bit unsure, you know, take that step, experiment, try new things. And for everyone else, you know, go forth and conquer. Enjoy it. Have a bit of fun and enjoy this uh, this day. Enjoy this moment and don't be afraid to pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Hello everyone, my name is Ellen Keane and I am an Irish Paralympic swimmer and a TUD slash DIT graduate from 2020. I have recently returned home from the Tokyo Paralympic Games with this little beaut. <laughs> but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to say a big congratulations to you, the class of 2021. Despite the highs and lows you may have experienced while studying, you finally made it to your graduation day and you should all be so proud of yourselves. It's important that you realize how much you have accomplished. Reflect on who you were when you began the course and how much you've grown and accomplished since then. I really, really hope all of you take the time to relax and celebrate yourselves today because you really, really deserve it. I also would like to give you a little bit of advice as you begin your new journey, whatever that may be. So firstly, always trust your gut. If you're unsure of something, always look inside of yourself first because you know what the right decision for you will be. Then never be afraid to ask for help. Nobody you love will want to see you struggle or fail. And you'll be surprised at who is really in your corner and what people will do for you, especially to you Dublin. <laughs> um, expect greatness. Don't hope for it. Expect it. Live every day knowing that there is greatness in you. And don't be as good as be better than in everything you strive to do. And lastly, whatever you do, make sure that it makes you happy. As cliche as it sounds, I have performed at my best when I've been enjoying myself and having fun. So please don't settle for anything less than happiness. And then of course, I would like to say a big thank you for listening to me. Congratulations and good luck on your new adventure. Gura Mahaga Gulier as Velian and you, Agus Kogordis and Argamiha Gulier. Thank you all for joining us today, and once again, congratulations to all our graduates.